TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, live update. And we got markets in positive territory. Dow slightly in the red right now, but technology driving this market higher with S&Ps up by 67 points right now, trading at 55.38. In terms of where you are, that's 1.2%. You get the NASDAQ 100 up 444 points, 19,385. Now, keep in mind, okay, that these numbers are all driven by the fact that, well, you got two. You got, you got three, actually, because you got the jobs number on top of it with ADP numbers this morning. But you have basically AMD with strong numbers. They are carrying NVIDIA higher along with Microsoft talking about that demand is still outstripping capacity. So Microsoft has slightly weaker numbers for Azure this quarter and the one that they just reported. But they talked about that the second two quarters of the year, they're going to resume even greater levels of growth. And that's what they talked about on that earnings call at about six o'clock. You see their numbers at right at four o'clock, almost in the minute. And then six o'clock is when they deliver the news that guess what? Yes, we disappointed slightly on Azure growth in terms of where we are the quarter we're reporting last quarter. This quarter, it's going to come in at 28 to 29 percent growth. But then we're going to ramp things back up for the second two quarters of the year. And the market said, oh, well, that's OK, even if you're going to spend uh, more on CapEx than maybe we anticipated. And you get that pop, you drive higher. That, of course, driving along with AMD numbers. They sold a billion dollars worth of their chips in 90 days. Not bad. They're up by 9.4. You jump over to NVIDIA shares. They're up by 10.7 percent, man. NVIDIA. They're up. What is so they're up by eleven dollars, and they have twenty-five billion shares outstanding. So they have added, yeah, over a quarter trillion dollars to their market cap today alone. Absolutely remarkable, man. And then you jump over on the job front, ADP. The continued slowdown, giving the Fed almost everything it needs for this afternoon. 122,000 jobs added. And then you got employment cost index only going up 0.9% out there. It's Fed Day, folks. Stay tuned. Yeah, we got the Fed. 2 p.m. Eastern time today. Basil did his program live at 8 o'clock this morning. So that's coming up right now. He's going to talk about a lot live um, from 8 till 9. We're going to play that right now. Live after that, folks, with our man Steve Rhodes. 